Welcome to Honeyman State Park for some sandboarding. We are Chris and Jen and we are on a journey. We are full-time RVers from Pennsylvania, learning how to live on the road while exploring the outdoors and the history of America. Join in at To Wander Freely. This is Chris's very first time ever on a sandboard or snowboard. <laughs> Doing my best just not to hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> A little shaky at the start, but it got going pretty well. Look, watch out for those people. Whoop. These things are pretty much impossible to turn. Let me just say that. <laughs> Thankfully, they were moving fast enough I didn't have to turn. <laughs> All the way down. Hands up! <laughs> She's standing up. Here's the hill. Now Jenny's first attempt. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, Whoa. yep. <laughs> As soon as you turn, you start That going. baby was wax lightning. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah, I like it. You got the idea, though. I mean, that's what you, that's what you want to do. Now, now Chris is a lefty most of the time, but there sometimes he's a righty. So sometimes he throws me off. So he went with his left foot. Nope, right foot first. He went with his right foot first. <laughs> so, of course, then I mimic him, and clearly I'm doing it backwards. You were trying to turn it. <laughs> Now I got my right foot forward, which is actually my left foot. But so got that figured out. <laughs> Clear as mud. <laughs> now the problem is that I'm too far down the hill. It's not a steep enough grade to get me going again. Yeah, you got. You might as well just come back up. It's got to be steeper to start. So since we each had one turn down the sand dune, we decided it was clearly time for us to try to do it at the same time. We got the hang of it pretty quick. As the afternoon went on, we moved a little bit farther over to the steeper parts of the dunes so we could go down just a little bit faster. It was fun. Here comes Jenny back up the hill after a successful ride and try not to get blown away by the wind. That walk up was a killer. Like, how many steps do you think? Oh, well, it was probably like 150 yards walking up. And the sand the was sand so... Was really soft. Your feet just sunk in. It, it was a workout. Yeah, so that's why we took a break at the top. <laughs> and we also got to see the dune buggies. Across the lake. Yeah, they were loud and fast. They looked like a good time. And an osprey overhead. I hate so much sand on that wind gust. We were fighting the sand all afternoon on this one. So now we were all the way at the top, ready to try the steepest part. And it's a total... <laughs> Wipeout. <laughs> we started off pretty good, and it was fast. And then I saw Jenny go down. I knew I couldn't turn my board, so I went down quickly. <laughs> Action shot of one of Jenny's more successful trips down the hill. And Chris's last time down. We enjoyed ourselves so much and had rented the sandboards for 24 hours that we decided to try again the next morning. We got up early, got over there, we were the first ones on the hill. We were so excited to strap the boards on and go for a ride. Little did we know that the hill was empty for a reason. The sand was still not wet, just a little bit damp from overnight and just being cool. So we hopped on, tried to go down, and we didn't budge. <laughs> so we ended up just enjoying the scenery for a little bit. Yes. Great way to spend a morning. Mm -hmm. We hope you enjoyed coming along on our first sandboarding adventure. And if you make it to Oregon someday, give it a try. If you'd like more information, please visit our blog post through the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.